Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store, simply called Mutant 2. Uh, I kind of like this asset. I was actually looking for something for my Resident Evil series, and I came across this asset, and I actually really, really liked it. So you probably know <laughs> what's going to happen at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the actual asset itself. It does come with a demo scene, which is just basically this <laughs> he's just stood there so quantity wise yep we get our mutant here in his little folder we get the demo scene and we get 20 animations it does say 20 doesn't it it does say 20 animations uh, so we have different variants here so we've got a couple of different attacks and it actually looks like more than 20 that's why i questioned it anyway we get all them animations which are really really nice obviously the material the mesh you can modify it if you need to uh, you got the prefab as well, and the stand, which is this little area he stood on. Obviously, textures, so all laid out nice and neatly in the folder. So I'm going to press play now, so we can just take a look at him in action with all his animations. And what I might do is actually turn on the post-processing a little bit and turn off the light. There we go. So he's just got that kind of you know, evil, monstery, mutancy look. And he's actually really well designed. I like how he looks. He looks really, really creepy, gruesome, grotesque, if you will. So I can see this being quite useful in majority of survival horror games or just even some FPS games in general. He's really, really nice. It's, it's really good, well designed. Versatility, it depends on how well you want to work with it. If you want to change how he looks, then yeah, obviously he's quite versatile. You can customize him as much as you need to. Obviously, if you wanted to change the uh, actual look and feel of him and everything, then yeah, that would be something that you could do. So for example, if you take the actual uh, material for him and just, I don't know, change it to an albedo alpha, uh, increase the normal map to maybe three, and then he looks really, well, warm different shiny so yeah he's customizable to that extent depending on how you want to have your game being you know if he's a big boss or something increase his size make him look real boss like um so the price of this is free as of recording this review remember asset prices do change all the time just be mindful of that size is a little over 93 meg quite large by uh, some asset standards but don't forget, this is quite detailed. It's it's very nice. So I would say 93 meg is fairly decent for this. Just be mindful if you're on slow connection or if you're doing any mobile game development. Uh, I don't think there's much in the way of extras. It does say you get 20 animations, so you can't really count them as extras. You get everything here. So no, I don't think there's any extras in that respect. Uh, but it's the overall quality that I am impressed with on, on this asset. I, I do genuinely think that the quality is very very good especially considering it's a free asset uh obviously he's got a little bit crazy there because we have created the grayscale or rather created the normal map from grayscale i should say um but again that just comes down to the customizability of it all so guys as you know i don't rate assets i either recommend them or i don't and i'm pretty sure you would have got it at the beginning yeah i'd recommend this asset of course i'd recommend this asset it's a great looking model it would do fantastically well in any horror game, not maybe just a survival horror. Like I said earlier, any horror game, this would fit in quite nicely. It looks good. It's well designed. There's plenty of animations to use. So if you add your own AI script to it, you could use any of these sleek animations to make it look even better. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And if you've got an asset on the asset store as well, Link me to it. I'd love to check it out and maybe review it in one of these little videos. Finally, guys, please click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well. And you can stay up to date with everything I've got on video game development on my channel because I upload regularly, guys, loads of videos a week, and there's always something to learn. Guys, thanks very much for watching.